Thank you. Yeah, I'm really proud. Really proud of the boys. Uh, they hang in there till the last, last minute. So can't fail the effort. Should you one leg, one leg back? Yeah, it's written all over. But you yeah, uh, know, you play against experience side, you're gonna do all the basic right. So, like I said, I'm proud of what they achieved today. Where we started where we end up, we end up on a high. So when you look at our squad, we've got a lot of young kids. Uh, I'm proud of what Simji done. He was uh, on his way back home, <laughs> retiring. So we call him, he come back. Uh, it's good to have him on the field today. Now, what are some of the flash points in that game? Like obviously, you know, the, the, the uh, video ref decision on the captain's challenge, that was a big one, wasn't it? Um, opportunity to kick a field goal at one point. What, what goes through your head after the match? You know? Oh, we can't change the t decision. My um, the biggest one is uh, when we can broke the football. You know they come up too early. So, but like I said, we can't change. Uh, I'm proud of what the boys achieved today. So. You've, it's been a big turnaround since that game. Um, against England, that the warm up game. Yeah. So um, everyone look at the uh, the points we play against England. Our team, we come all the way uh, from back home straight here. Uh, a few days turn around and things happen with the head coach and I come along and seems to come along so we have to turn everything around quickly the game against Australia then we move on from there. You know, full credit to the boys and the coaching staff. Uh, the boys listen. We have to change the whole concept, the way we play, the way we do things. So we're going to work with what we do have. We don't have much but we're just going to keep moving forward from here. Can they beat Australia once? Give us another year, another World Cup or two. New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. That's a great ask. Um, Australia is on, on a roll at the moment. So they've been playing some good football. Is that a no? I don't think so. <laughs> Corbin, was that definitely your last game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my body's, body's had it. Um, it's been a Spent a couple of years away, living away from my son now, so it's time for me to go home and um, be a hands-on dad again. Um, looking forward to it. Like I said, like six months ago, I made made the decision to <clears throat> retire at the end of the year, and um, and the, and I've already and I already had ruled myself out of the World Cup. Um, had a couple of questions questions from the captain and teammates through the year, and I always said no. But then, um, like I said, um, just as the boys were getting ready for that England game. Um, you know, Kevin Nagaba called me and he asked me again if I'd want to play and, you know, I, I made the decision there there and then that I was going to, you know, that was the way I was going to finish off my career and I couldn't be happier um, doing it this way now after the, you know, after having the suspension last year and missing out on the final game of the regular season in the Super, in the super League. But, you know, I went out, um, you know, went out on my terms, went out the way I started my career um, in a World Cup, so I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy with my decision to return home and be a dad. Do you think you'll be staying another week for a while out there? Yeah. Oh yeah, I had already made plans. I'd, I was I was getting ready to push my flight back another day. Um, I booked my flight for the 18th of November. I thought it was. I thought the final was on the 17th, so <laughs> I was I was getting ready to push it back another day. But um, you know, we we had lots of belief out there, especially in the first half. We played really well. A um, couple of couple of silly errors, but. You know, the, and so I got to see a fair bit of hole, and um, you know, I'm really happy, really happy that. Oh well, I'm not happy that we're finished, but I'm happy that you know I got to play another last game in um, in sunny old Hull. So it's good. It's good to see some fans, and even fans out there, like they still they're still calling for me. I still see some fans out there in the um, in the red and white, which is good. Corbin, you, you initially said no to play for Fiji, and a lot of other players have, have said no as well. Do you, does what happened tonight make you think? Imagine if we were full strength, how good you could be. The reason that I said no is because 
my body was not going to let me and my mind wasn't going to let me um, at that at that time when I made that decision my, my body and mind went, wasn't going to let me make it through past the end of the year so that's the reason I said no the only reason I said yes is because I know the I know the feeling and the passion that's in this group um, no matter who no matter who's in the team we always know that um, you know we can do something special and we almost done something special again tonight um, I'm sure a few of his few of, like few people out there were really really surprised about the first half but we weren't you know we knew that um, you know if we played our brand of footy and we played the way we want to play and um, minimalize the Kiwis to you know what we did in that first half um, we knew we'd, we knew we'd be in a good position but like I said they're a class caliber side and they've got strike a, a, across the park and that's just what happens with you good think stuff. if everyone was available you might have been able to you know, oh, I can't really speak on that, man. I can only speak on the the crew that we've got here. And you know, as a as a senior player of the of the Fiji Bati now for the last couple of um, for the last ten years, and um, seeing that seeing the caliber of boys that we've got coming through is, you know, it's exciting for the Fijian rugby league. What do you think, boy? If you were at full strength, Fiji, full strength? Fiji was at full strength. Yeah. Well, we did a story. Um, they got experience. That's why they go over the line. So they hang on to the football and play football. Like Coburn said, we've we done two mistakes in the first half, they score points. We've done two more mistakes again, they score points. So that's the way it is. Well, it's been three consecutive semi-final efforts and for, for Fiji. It's been an amazing run over, over 12 years, hasn't it, for, for the Basi to make Yeah. The thing that um, got me, because most, most of our players come over from Fiji, they come across and get developed by NRL play, play and play. Most of the island boys are born either town or some or the other born in Australia or New Zealand. So for us, what 90% of the kids playing today, they're all from back home. <coughs> to come in the system and progress within two, three years, get to the top. So I think uh, the future, like it kept on the future, Fiji rugby league is much better than any other nation, I guess. Corbin, what did you speak about during the week regarding where you thought you could hurt the Kiwis? Um... I reckon, I reckon we showed. I reckon we showed what we what we spoke about. Um, you know, we t if we took it took it to the Kiwis <clears throat> to start the game, um, and I think I think this weather sort of played a bit into our hand as well. Um, the way the way we wanted to, you know, roll roll the Kiwis down the pitch, um, you know, force errors which we done, but then on the on the flip side of that, they forced they forced errors for us, and but they they capitalised on them, and you know, we put up we put up a good fight. Um, you know, that's just the way it is. That's the way it is. They're a great side, and some calls didn't go our way, which is just the, the you know game of footy now. How important was the start? Probably them starting a bit slow and you getting on top. Of them. Oh, I don't. I don't think they started slow. I think we just come out with a lot more, lot more vigor in um, some of the things that we've done. Don't get me wrong. They they played really good footy in the first half, but I feel like we 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 had the opportunities and we took took control of the game. When we needed to, but then um, it's the little lapses that you can't have against sides like that. So that's the thing that Fiji, um, Fiji and rugby leagues, you know, working on uh, the last, like you said, you say the last um, three or four World Cups now, um, progressing, progressing. So even though we didn't make it to the semi-finals this year, there's a lot of there's a lot of progress and a lot of um, a lot of a lot of good things to take into not only the next World Cup but the future games, future games for the Fiji Bati. Do you think you were hard done by with the captain's challenge? Which one? The one that they got in the penalty. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying anything about that. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going there. Go out and swing. Yeah, I'd love to, but I don't know if I'm officially allowed to say it or not. And because I've got, oh, I've got a lot of opinions, but no, I'm not going to say. Them. I'm not going to say them just yet. I'm going to wait until I'm well and truly clear. Maybe twenty. Maybe twenty three. Maybe twenty three. How hard is it to take then, that decision? Which one? The, the one that seemingly you maybe feel cost you. So not necessarily commenting about that if you feel that's getting you in trouble, but personally, how hard is that to take? I don't think it was any one decision that um, lost us the game. We made errors in the first half. Could have capitalised on those. Um, could have capitalised on those and put us in a better position leading into the second half, but that's the thing. You can't just dwell on the one error, the one call, <coughs> um, you know, the one forward pass, the one missed tackle. You know, everyone, everyone makes mistakes, and everyone, you know, has everyone has a good game, everyone has a bad game, and we all we all dwell and we all um, 
live in each other's glory and um, you know that's what that's the good thing about this side we you know we don't dwell on the bad things we you know we lift each other up and uh, we back out we back each other um, not only for this game just gone but like I said for future games for the Fiji Butty I'm going to be excited to be a spectator hopefully coach no, nah, you can't do that. <laughs> can't do that, I'm hopeless. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. Thanks, guys. Thank you.